What's going on, folks? All right, uh, got something pretty interesting here. Um, going to give you a little backstory. So, I kind of been looking at possibly getting a UTV, all right? UTV utility vehicle. Um, so I kind of been looking, and I kind of been looking real hard the past two days. Obviously, with this whole Corona. I got some more time on my hands here. So been been checking it out, going through a lot of the um, different side-by-sides. And I came across this, all right? Now, I know if... I, I've, I, I've heard about this before, all right? I don't know too much about it. Um, I don't know how... I think it's been out for probably about a year. Now, I want to say the first time I heard about this and saw it was at the GIE... Um, in Louisville, Kentucky, it's an, uh, you know, a landscaping event, you know, huge outdoor power equipment, all types of just outdoor tools and, you know, everything. And I think Greenworks had a booth and this was not officially launched yet, but it was coming out, but obviously it's out now. Um, so this is the Greenworks 82 volt. UTV or utility vehicle. All right. Um, yeah, I mean, it looks pretty darn good. Um, I have to say lithium ion here. Can you believe it? Um, and I think this is really the only one on the market. Now, the only, you know, true trail rated UTV, you know, that has four wheel drive. You even got a winch. Look at those nice shocks. Got a nice um, bumper there. It looks like you got some LED headlights. Um, yeah, Greenworks commercial. All right, so yeah, it looks kind of beefy. You know, you actually got doors on her. You know, the, the, the small mid doors. Believe it or not, a lot of them don't come with doors. Um, not that... It's a big deal, but um, we'll help you if you kind of get through some mud and stuff. Sometimes the tires kick back stuff, and as you can see, there's some dirt on that door. That probably would have landed on the guy driving it. But anyway, you know, some real beefy tires. I mean, it, it looks pretty darn cool. Um, you know, like I said, it's crazy the way that, I mean, the, the technology is going. No doubt about it. Um you got a, it looks like you got a pretty big um you got a pretty big cargo area in the back um i wonder if it, i would guess since it's lithium ion probably push button and i'm going to tell you why i think that also in a second but a, a pretty long bed on her um it looks like here all right, so it's the UA, U800SB. Oh, freaking Tom Brady. That's all I've been hearing. He's going to play for the Buccaneers. They, the Buccaneers, as soon as the season ended, Bruce Arian said, no, we are 100% committed to Jameis Winston. 100% committed. I mean, the guy threw for 5,000 yards this year. Okay? Young guy. But I guess they want to win now, the Buccaneers. They think they got the defense. But, man, I guess they're going to make uh, Winston maybe sit for a year. I, I don't know. Or they're, they're going to trade him. I'll tell you, I wish the Steelers would get him. A lot of interceptions, don't get me wrong. I mean, crazy amount of interceptions. But you don't find guys that throw for 5,000 yards very often. But what the heck are we talking about? All right, so, like I said, four wheels. Oh, this, well, this is the... All right. $25,000. $25,000. All right, like I said, I think this is pretty much one of the first. Again, it might be another small, you know, side-by-side -side that's lithium-ion, you know, but, you know, not, not with four-wheel drive and, uh, you know, 
really trail rated commercial type um, UTV here, but you can tow 1,500 pounds with this sucker and you can get up to 60 miles on a single charge. I mean, that is impressive, but 25,000, all right, I, you know, I don't know about you, but yeah, lithium ion's cool. I, I could almost buy a Tesla. I mean, I know I could buy a used Tesla with like 30,000 miles on it for 25 grand. If they have sold one of these, I would be absolutely shocked. I mean, 25 grand, you're buying a top of the line. I, I don't even, I mean, Polaris has some pretty expensive um, UTVs out there, uh, but $25,000 and it's, and it's really heavy. And you know, the, the cargo bed holds 550 pounds, which is, you know, this thing hits everything. I mean, it hits the pretty much pretty top of the line UTVs in, um, cargo bed, uh, weight, uh, the hitch. 1500 pounds that that's pretty much you know top of the line you know um it takes 12 hours to charge this thing okay 12 hours and you're gonna pay 25 grand for a utv that only goes 30 miles per hour 30 my kids um razor dirt bike goes 20 and it was 300 bucks. I don't know. I mean, ugh. that's, uh, that, that, that's pretty steep. That's pretty steep. I'm going to be honest with you. If I got a tremendous deal, okay. If someone say, said, you know, I got a brand new green works, um, U800 SB, uh, uh, brand new, just came in the showroom. I'll sell it to you for half price. I still wouldn't buy this for 12.5. For 12.5, I still wouldn't touch this thing. I'll be honest with you, the max I would probably pay for this would be like seven grand. And I mean, you'd really have to like, you know, maybe throw in like a t-shirt and you know, a cap, a water bottle. Um, really cool. Don't get me wrong. I mean, this is this is awesome. And believe me, I would pay 10, 11 grand, you know, if it went at least 40, I mean, at least 40, um, or at least 35, 37, 30. That is um, pretty weak there. And to be honest with you, it's probably not even 30. It's probably like 28 or something. You know, they kind of, the perfect condition maybe to get it to 30. I'd love to see what the dash looks like, but they don't have any pictures of it. I mean, real beefy guys. And I'm, you know, it's definitely worth probably more than seven grand. Don't get me wrong. But, and we know how much, you know, battery technology costs. So it's just still, um, very expensive for this lithium ion stuff, guys. You know, obviously, there's a lot of companies now making these electric cars. Tesla, Nissan, Kia, Ford has a new Mustang, you know, lithium ion. Um, well, not lithium ion. Well, yeah, they're all lithium ion, but, you know, electric. So, but it's it's very hard. It's, it's very expensive. And... Um, you know, until these prices somehow, you know, I, I don't know what's costing so much. I, I guess the batteries are. Um, and if this had some type of, you know, 12 hours to charge is uh, pretty, pretty crazy. I mean, you can charge a Tesla in like an hour with their supercharger, but not even their supercharger. They got some, you know, there's different types, right? I mean, you got to do better than 12 hours. Yeah, I mean, it, it's very, you know, the UTVs I've been looking at have been ranging from like 102 inches 
to 110. There's one I really like that's like 120, 122. The Kawasaki Mule. Um, so, I mean, it's hard to see a good pitcher on here. For some reason, they decided to only have four pictures. But, you know, it's it, it's bigger than it looks in this picture right here to be 118 inches. All right? That is a pretty big UTV. All right? That's, you know, not definitely not a small one. Like I said, somewhere around, and especially for a utility. Um, so, and it's very heavy, too. Almost 1,700 pounds. And to 10 miles per hour in reverse, ground clearance is absolutely amazing. 12 inches is freaking really good. They're calling it the Greenworks Rugged Utility Vehicle. I mean, they did a hell of a job here, guys. But um, it must be darn cool, man, to be just hitting the... Imagine driving, you wouldn't even hear it, like in the woods. Imagine this thing, you wouldn't even be able to hear it coming. It scared the hell out of you. I mean, there's some big tires on it. I don't know why they don't sell you the size... I would bet you they're 26, 27 inch tires. Maybe even 28. They don't tell you. Able to be shipped? No. Obviously, to ship something 1,600 pounds. 61 inches width. Again, that's that's that's, that's pretty big. Anyway, I thought you'd find it interesting. You might have already known this has been out. I don't know. Um and you do have the roof, you know, there are options sometimes. But uh, really cool, man. I can't wait until Milwaukee comes out with a rugged MX util utility vehicle. Imagine that. That's going to be the kicker, man. When somebody gets, you know, and it would probably be Ego. And I think Greenworks has, an, has a relationship with Shervon. Because, you know, you always hear me talk about the 80-volt um, Greenworks is basically cobalt 80-volt. The batteries are pretty much interchangeable. I mean, uh, I mean, I bet you, I mean, you're going to need probably 10 of those 10-amp-hour Ego batteries when they come out to probably even get, you know, this thing says it get. How long does it run? What, 60, 60 miles or something? 60 miles? What do you want to drive 60 miles to go to work? That's my business. You want to sell cars to me or what? Yeah, 60 miles. You know, probably be able to do 30 miles maybe. I don't know. But who knows? Listen, trust me. In five years, I'm going to say it right now. Remember, it's 2020. By 2025, somebody, some tool company, I don't know who it's going to be, will be making an, some type of either lawnmower, okay, I'm talking about ride-on mower, you know, zero turn or tractor, and obviously there is a, you know, Ryobi, but that's not a removable battery. Right, that's you know a nickel cad that's in there. I'm talking about like stick the batteries in, remove them, put them in a different tool. But within five years, all right, you will see somebody somewhere come out again with either tractor, zero turn, UTV. I don't know if it's going to be Milwaukee MX. I don't know if it's going to be Eagle 56. I don't know if it's going to be Ryobi 40 volt. I don't know, but it's going to happen. Peace.